Welcome back gamers. Today I'll be talking about Armor Forger and what settings I use on this game. I had a few people ask me in the comments section about this, so we're going to cover that. And personally, in my opinion, this game is one of the best looking mill sims out there. I mean there are some here and there that might top it, but with this kind of a large scale mill sim game, it, I don't know, it just looks really good. I think so anyway. And we're going to go over exactly what settings we use, I'm going to tell you what kind of hardware I run on my PC running 56 fps right now um depends on the server sometimes i can get up to like 90 to 120. like i said i kind of run my settings a little bit better looking rather than fps i'm used to xbox where 60 fps is the max so i hover average of around like 90 ish all right before we get into the settings make sure you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button i would appreciate it so much the more people like this video the better it does in the algorithm and the more people that subscribe just overall helps the channel and I would appreciate it greatly. I'm running a PC, so if you are on Xbox, there's not much settings unfortunately for graphics wise. There's only a quality preset and a performance preset. Now quality, you get a little bit better graphics, but I always run it on performance preset. Now any of my old footage you've seen was on the Xbox Series X. Now take that in mind. Xbox Series X, not the S. The S, you get lower FPS, it's not as good looking. The X, you can get good graphics on, and I run on a performance mode. That would allow me to get the, the maximum 60 FPS you can get. But, we are talking about my PC right now, what settings I have. So my PC has an RTX 4080 with a Ryzen 9 7900X. It has 32GB of RAM, DDR5. The main thing that you're all gonna want to know is the you know how much RAM I have, my CPU and GPU. Like I said, GPU is the RTX 4080, and then the CPU is the Ryzen 9 7900X. Then I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. So let's get into the settings now. So video, that's where we're gonna go. I mean, most of you know this already, but here we go. Quality preset, custom. I do borderless full screen. Uh, my render scale is 100% at uh, 1440, running the non-true 4K, you know what I mean, it's 1440, good enough. Um, my monitor isn't true 4K anyway, so it don't matter. So, the Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1.0, I have that on, so this is almost like a DLSS, um, I think I said that right. It's so like a lot of games will have that setting of DLSS, is it DLSS or DSSL, I don't remember, anyway. Um, I, it helps your FPS and stuff. This is AMD's solution for it. Um, Arma only goes through Fidelity FX, not through the DLSS. I I swear I'm butchering that. I don't remember. Whatever. But yeah. So yes, I have that on. Helps me in the FPS wise. VSync I have on. FPS limit I put it at 240 because my monitor maxes at like 244 or something like that. Hertz. So I don't need the, the 360. It's never gonna get up that high on this game. The most I've seen me get with my setup is probably 200 FPS. So the draw distance. So my draw distance is 4,000 meters. That's quite a bit. You don't need that much, you know, meterage on that. So for the people who don't know what draw distance is, draw distance is what you're going to be able to see how far out you can see people and whatnot. So if you lower that down, your FPS should go up. Let's check that out. Actually, we're on 2,700. Okay, FPS hasn't really changed, to be honest, 57. Like I said, my average is 90, so I don't know why I'm being a little bit lower. But yeah, if you're running a little bit lower settings, I mean, um, if you're running a little bit lower spec in your PC, I recommend you going down to like 2,500 probably. I keep it at 4,000 because I do a lot of sniping. There's no reason for you to put it up, you know, this high if you're not going to do any sniping or long range shooting. You're not going to be seeing out 4,000 meters anyway. And so this next one right here, I have on low. I don't really need it on high, to be honest with you. It doesn't make a huge visual difference. And the FPS change isn't really a big, so I keep it on low. That's the field quality. So I keep this one simple right here. Like I said, I don't have all my settings maxed out. My hardware can run everything maxed out easily. But I'd rather have the FPS. Ambient occlusion, I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. I have that on ultra. So what this does, I might be wrong, take out the grain of salt, but I'm pretty sure the ambient occlusion, uh, I swear I'm saying that wrong, is when you see out in a distance, and so, let me get back out of these settings. It's getting a little dark here. Let's get into the light if we can. So what I, what I believe it is, is objects will be smoother 
Meaning, you know how when you look out in the distance and trees are a lot jagged a lot of times, they look like triangles kind of? If you turn that on the highest you can, they'll be smoothed out. The coloring will smooth that around it, and objects won't look as jagged looking. They'll look more natural. Alright, this is, I guess, as bright as we're going to get it. We just jumped on the server. Um, hopefully it's not going to be nighttime soon. <laughs> Alright, let's go back down. Okay, we're here, yes. Screen space reflections, high. I like reflections. So that's what's going to, you're going to see reflections on wet roads, water, even grass, stuff like that from the sunlight. I like it high. Um, I don't really see a reason to ultra it. I don't really need to. Contact shadows, yes. This one here, I put on eight times. Foliage smoothing, ga uh, grass and trees. So I put the, so this will actually change. It's not like a high setting. You'll do none, grass, trees, or grass and trees, which is the best looking one. Uh, I'm, my settings are kind of mixed around best looking, but also getting decent FPS. Not the most FPS. Obviously, if I drop my settings down a lot lower, I'd be getting a lot better FPS. But 60 FPS I can manage. Like I said, I average 90, and on a good day on the servers, I get 120. So that's fine. Modeling and geometric at detail. So this is like rocks, cliff sides, stuff like that. I like that ultra. Because when you're looking out somewhere trying to snipe somebody, if you have it on a low, the rocks kind of look like jaggedy, square. And sometimes you can't really see the enemy around it, clips it. So I like to have this on ultra. Object draw distance, same thing as before is the dry distance that I said before, but this is on objects only. This isn't the entire map. The other one renders the entire map at however, whatever meteorage you put it at. Mine's a set at 4000. And this is obviously the detail of how it looks at that distance. So I have that on ultra. Terrain surface detail, parallax and shadows. So the only difference, if you go up one more, it goes to HQ which is just a higher resolution style. I don't really need that. Texture detail, ultra. Like I said, fine details. I like to be looking nice. Texture filtering, high. Grass quality. Gotta have that good grass, man. You know what I'm saying? Grass draw distance, 110 meters. I used to keep it in the middle, but I don't know. I mean, it doesn't make a huge difference, honestly. Depends on how far out you want to see your grass. I, I, I noticed this meterage doesn't change the FPS very much, so if you want to see grass further out, go for it. Shadow quality, medium. So, the shadow quality, I don't need super detailed shadows, as long as you see some shadows and get that immersion from it. Distant shadows, same thing, medium. Render target format. I don't really know, I haven't really played around with this one much. I, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't really know what it does, I just keep it on standard. And then environmental quality ultra, because I want to have the best looking environment as I can, you know. But yes, I probably butchered some of those settings and trying to explain some of it, but that is the settings that I run on Armor Forger. Like I said, and I'll say it again, I think this is one of the best looking games that, you know, you can get for Milsim style. And to reiterate, if you have a lower spec system than I do, you might have to sacrifice a couple things here and there. I have it, I mean, with an RTX 4080 and a Ryzen 9 7900X, I haven't found any settings that really bog down the FPS. It's mostly the game's optimization. Sometimes I can get onto a server, like I said, get easy 120 FPS. Um, I mean, Grey Zone Warfare, I run at between 150 and 200 FPS. It's all about the game itself. But if you're, it depends. If you can max out most settings and get at least 60 fps then do it because it looks good but i know some people can't do that and they have to lower their settings down a little bit um if you're unsure how to do the settings itself try to mimic what i showed you in there and see what kind of quality you get with the settings i'd be curious leave comments you know down below and let me know how, how it shows up for you guys so yeah nice little short video it is getting nighttime in the server though if you have any questions or concerns or anything at all like I said, let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.